guys, welcome to another vlog. Just started raining. It's a miserable day here in Perth. It has been bucketing down, basically. It is also the day before Chris goes back to work and he's doing some overtime. So he's gonna be gone for three weeks, uh, which sucks. He's only been home for a week. It's not long enough for him. I know it's not, it's not long enough for me. Uh, he's, I know that it's gonna be a hard swing for him. So we decided today that we would just chill at home. I'm just getting some washing done. I really want to, look, there's a few things. I wanna make pea and ham soup because I have a ham hock and it needs to be used up and I've been craving pea and ham soup. I have also been desperately wanting to make banana bread and I have oh I've got more bananas I need to put in the freezer too now Chris likes bananas I don't really like bananas so we buy them for Chris he doesn't eat them <laughs> all that often so what I do with the bananas when they start to go beyond you know eating uh, appropriateness or eating ripeness I popped them in the freezer and for about, I don't know, maybe a month now, I've been wanting to make banana bread, but I didn't have a loaf pan. And you would think, well, just go buy a loaf pan, but I have developed a really big issue with buying things that I already knew that I owned in Melbourne. So maybe like a year ago, I think I bought two really nice brand new loaf pans for making like bread banana bread whatever and even though it's like a really cheap thing and i can just go and buy it it's not a big deal i feel like it's such a waste of money um and it really is cheaper for mum to send a box of stuff from melbourne than for me to go and replace all of these tiny little things or go and buy these tiny little things that like I already had. And mum's not a baker. She's not gonna be using the loaf pans. So she actually sent me a few boxes. I have three boxes <laughs> down at the front door that I have to unpack, which have a lot of like kitchen bits in it. And I think some stuff for plants as well. All right, let's, Start the pea and ham soup because that's got to cook for a while. Oh God, I did the thing where I made the mistake looking up the recipe. Um, <laughs> I made the mistake of just not hitting the jump to recipe button. And then I'm like scrolling through the life story of pea and ham soup. Oh my God, okay. So I don't think I've vlogged since mum left and I didn't vlog much while mum was here. Uh, you guys probably don't know this, but she was here for 10 days. And prior to that, I had friends from Melbourne here. And I also didn't really vlog while they were here. I did, I did film a little bit of footage for some things, but I don't know if I'll even bother turning them into videos. Honestly, it was just, it's been, it's very overwhelming having people stay for that long. Um, mum wasn't, you know, mum's not too bad because she just wants to chill out like I do. Um, but when we had friends from Melbourne here, like they were in holiday mode and they wanted to see Perth. So we spent a lot of time doing a lot of stuff, um, around Perth, which was great because it also allowed me to see a lot of Perth. <laughs> and even though I've lived here since, uh... Well, I've been in WA since January, but lived in Perth since uh, February. I haven't seen much because like we've been busy. We've been busy moving and searching for a house and moving again, again, again. So I haven't really gotten out and seen much of Perth. Uh, so it was good to do that with Brian, Michael and Al when they were here. And I think in total they were here for eight days, I think. And it was very, like like I said, sort of touristy. We were going to a lot of places, seeing a lot of stuff, um, but it was really hard to work. Like I couldn't, 
I could not work. When mum was here, I could have worked, um, but I was feeling like, you know, there were so many things that we wanted to do and we were catching up on stuff. Um, and I just kind of, I just threw in the towel. I was like, just take a break. Just enjoy being with mum and don't worry about the rest. So after mum left, that's kind of what I did. I sort of uh, focused a bit more on work and Chris was away at work. So um, it was just me and Freya. But I feel like I'm getting back into a work routine, which is really nice. Oh dear, I nearly cut one of my nails off. Lucky it wasn't my finger. I will say these nails are really cool, but uh, <laughs> they get in the way. They really do. They make using my hands very difficult. That's on, excellent. Something else that we desperately wanted to get done um, with Chris's one week off is something that we have been meaning to do pretty much since we moved in. And that was do a tip run. I think we moved in in May. I don't even remember time. Come on brain, you can think. I think it was about the middle of May. We just had so many like boxes and there was furniture that had gotten uh, broken in the move. And it was all just shoved in the garage and taking up so much space. Like it was a hazard in there. You couldn't, oh, you couldn't even friggin move. Um, so we finally loaded up the trailer and we went and did a tip run. You can move in the garage now. It's fantastic. What I did discover is we have more boxes, <laughs> more boxes to be unpacked. That's fine. I will get to them eventually. There's no pressure there. And there is some furniture in there that we're not too sure what we're going to do with. But I, again, that can just be a problem for down the track. For now, we can at least move in the garage, which was all I wanted. Oh my God, we went to Costco. <laughs> we went to Costco. Um, I actually have a tiny bit of footage. I'm just gonna insert it here. I'm at Costco with Chris. <laughs> it happened. Oh, come on, you stop it. I was, okay, so we were gonna go and pick up some lunch, um, but we were near Costco and I was, and Chris was like, do you wanna go to Costco, baby? And I was like, yes, I want beef bulgogi and hot dogs. Um, so we decided to come here. We need batteries. We don't need batteries, we don't. I actually bought some when I was last here. Anyway, so we've come to get lunch here, um, but then Chris was like, I wanna look at these smokers that you were talking about. So we've come. We've come, he's looking. I think we'll have a little wander around and uh, yeah, see how we go. Here is the contents of our junk food trolley. <laughs> we just got snacks and Pepsi and hot sauce. Baby, what did you think? I like it. <laughs> it's pretty good, isn't it? I think I'll be able to convince Chris to come on more Costco shopping trips with me in the future. While we were out yesterday, which was basically an errand running day, um, we popped into Kmart because our kettle, uh, we got a new kettle. The one that we had, it was working. There was no issues with it in that regard, but on the, uh, like the heating element, um, on the bottom of the kettle, the metal was, uh, it was like flaking off. So there must have been like some sort of layer over it that would, I don't know. Anyway, we decided that it's not safe to use anymore because we don't want to be consuming that. We're finding it uh, at the bottom of our cups of coffee. Well, I was, um, and I alerted Chris to it while he was away and we decided to get a new one. But I also got a steamer, just from Kmart, cheapy. I think it was like, I don't know, maybe 20 bucks, maybe not. I can't remember. Uh, cheap enough not to worry us or make it memorable. Uh, Chris doesn't have one. Boys, 
boys are so weird. How do you not have a steamer? I don't know how he lives without it. Um, well, I do. Why would he need one? Um, but I like them because I like to steam vegetables, but also because dumplings. Okay? Dumplings. So I actually have a whole bunch of dumplings and stuff that needs to be steamed to be cooked. Um, oh, you can fry them in the in a pan if you want to, but it's not my preference. Anyway, wanted a steamer, picked up a three tier one from Kmart. I'm happy. Oh, I'm excited. What's in here? Oh, very cool. Baking stuff, baking stuff. Oh, Freya's dog bowls. Hey Freya. She's got dog bowls here, don't worry. I'm not starving my dog because she doesn't have bowls. Hello Freya, are you coming? Do you recognize this one? That's your one. <laughs> yeah, there's stuff in here. Oh, she's sitting and waiting. She's like, show me. Um, she's used clothes just for pack. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, that's, oh yes. Look, first box. That's awesome. Baking tins. Baking, baking tins. Baking tins. Baking tins. Woo, woo. And that's it. look what she sent me. Guys, she sent me my Dyson. She sent me my Dyson. I'm very excited. Say hello, baby. Hello, baby. <laughs> Freya, you want to say hello, baby? <laughs> You're going to have to cut that out, baby. <laughs> Get out. You're not making it. I, I need to film this and edit it in a day. Just get out. You're a menace. You're not making this more difficult for me. Micro cleaner, awesome. Kitchen scales, awesome. Do you have kitchen scales, Chris? No, you don't. You know how I know that? Because I use everything in the kitchen. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, your whiskey arrived. Yes, I have. Unbox the whiskey. I just want to make sure that your address isn't shown. Just keep, hold that towards hold you. That your one. address, our address. There it is. Uh, yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> it's a certificate of authentication. Oh, lock them on. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 2010 vintage. Oh, that's nice. I've got, I don't, I, I don't think I have a 2010, but I, I know I've got a lock them on. Nice. I want to open it, but I don't. Yeah, I know. I really I'm like the idea of so whiskey, but I can't, like, as soon as it, like, my nose picks up the scent, I'm like, oh God, I'm going to die. <laughs> it's so strong. But I mean, any straight spirits are strong. Um, you know what I do like though? A whiskey sour. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Love a whiskey sour. Uh, the rest is just like little bits. She sent me some, um, measuring cups which is great i love those ones we do have measuring cups but no chris stop it they can't <laughs> oh my god he's a menace i have just realized that uh after unpacking that one box we have a situation the drawers down here like the utensil drawers and stuff like that is starting to look a little bit not okay. I cannot stand messy utensil drawers. They need to be organized. Let me, I've, I've shown this in a vlog before. Let me show you. This is our utensil drawer now. I've just thrown in a few things from mum. It was pretty organized. These things take up heaps of space and are not well organized. But look, you can see my vision of making this organized and it was pretty good but it's i mean this is bad and it's probably going to get worse i assume that there is more going on in the other boxes um this this is kind of okay but like straws and stuff i feel like i need to mm, it's not okay it's it's not good this drawer i love it's well organized this drawer has potential. I've just been chucking, like, this is for dog food, so I just, you know, rinse them and um, or wash them and then reuse them. And then we've got, like, the little um, 
bags from uh, like fruit and veg and stuff and I've just there's potential here I can still use this for maybe helping to fix up this situation but what's really scaring me is what's going on in here I don't like it I don't like it at all it's it's chaos this one's worse look look at the Tupperware look at it it's horrid I'm going to do this while Chris is away. I'm going to organize these as best I can because ugh, I hate it. Okay, what's in here? Ooh. Oh, yes. Okay. Wow, Mum. Wow, that's a lot of those. Mum sent me um, so many of these. I did ask for a couple. I just said, I just need a couple um for the bottoms for plant pots so that when you water them they capture the excess water what is this oh mom oh my god it's like a treasure trove it's packed it like a jigsaw puzzle oh yay water filters good um so mom sent me like 50 Oh no, okay, some pots have got broken. She sent me like 50 of these. I needed like three, but that's fine. We do, I asked her to send me some mini pots. Uh, ooh, but we've had some casualties. That's okay though. We have some that have survived. We have heaps that have survived. I wanted one. I wanted one of these. I said, could you please send me one, maybe two, just in case I get like an extra one somewhere along the way. And I wanted it for this. I bought myself a little philodendron gloriosum itty bitty baby. And I just wanted a tiny little pot to pop it in because it's just in a little, little nursery pot. So I just wanted one. <laughs> She sent me nine and a single egg cup. That's fine. She sent me some more coat hangers, which will come in handy. It's free. Oh, look out. And she also sent me one of my tubs that I stored some clothing in, um, which is very helpful because a lot of like my bathing suits and like little like summer bralettes and stuff like that. I don't have anywhere to store them. So that's handy. It's also full of clothes. Okay, last box. What are we? <gasps> oh, okay. It's a lot of kitchen stuff. Oh, this is handy. This is super handy. Where are we gonna put it? Oh no. It's not gonna fit, is it? Do you ever have like a small thing happen in your life that just triggers like instant hatred for something? <laughs> so I have, mum sent me one of these. It is for popping on your paper towel and um, this part slides into like the bottom of a cupboard shelf and then you just close the door and it's like you know no damage uh holder for your paper towel here's the issue our cupboards and i don't know why but our cupboards are like that there's two layers so there's like the bottom of the cupboard and then there's another layer of um like it'll be mdf or whatever so it's like this thick, why? So it doesn't, it doesn't fit. It does not fit. And I wouldn't be able to put it that way because it would just be too big and bulky and stupid. Okay, in my attempt to try and find a way to make it work, I've discovered we have an issue with the sink. Uh, great. Um, Look, this is, as you can see, it is just a box of little kitchen bits. I was saying that um, I really wanted my like juicer, my manual juicer for oranges. I love this one for 
years, like over a decade. Um, it just works. It's so good. And mum was like, I was like, oh, I have to buy a new one. Like my life is not full <laughs> without it. Mum's like, well, I don't use it. So I'll send it to you. Um, I am just going to unpack all of this. Oh my God, mum. There is so much kitchen goodies, but I'm not going to lie. I'm excited. I see all of my like little kitchen bits that I have been missing along with another baking tray that's full of stuff. Oh, my meat thermometer. Yay. And she has sent me another one of these. Oh, what's in there? Is it clothes? What is that? Oh God, how am I going to get it? Oh, there we go. What's in here? Oh, some books and stuff. Okay. Okay, they were good. Okay, so that's an absolute boatload of kitchen goodies uh, that not only will keep me busy and happy when I feel like cooking, uh, but also is going to now open up a whole world of organizing. <laughs> because I need it to be organized. I can't have it be chaos. The one thing that I really enjoyed about this kitchen, this kitchen is small, okay? It was one of the things that I really had an issue with when we were looking at this house, but, you know, compromise. Um, I figured, you know, I can make it work. These drawers here that I showed you just a few moments ago, I was pretty happy with them. They've been, pretty well organized these cupboards that I showed you were not and they were on my list of things to organize but now that I've put some stuff in there it's worse this is worse I am going to I'm going to tackle that and I'm going to do it happily I'm going to take a few days to think about it mull it over work out what I want to do how I'm going to uh, organize everything without spending money let's try and do that um, and then I will come in here and organize it. While it's stopped raining, I want to give you guys an update on my veggies and how they're going. So the peas have taken off beautifully, as you can see, and the spring onions in here have also shot right up. They're really happy. I don't know what the difference is between this here and this here, but can you see? These spring onions are just like, mm, I don't know. I mean, this one is sort of like, yeah, I'm, I'm down with it. Whereas these guys are, you know, they're doing their thing. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. Doesn't matter to me. It's fine. Tomatoes are also uh, looking pretty good. These are the ones that grow the like sort of uh, tomatoes on the vine. And these ones will grow little Roma tomatoes um i'd say these guys are definitely doing better but i guess you do always get some runts of the litter <laughs> uh, and it even happens with tomatoes so they're all going great uh my big thing was the peas if you've been watching my vlogs for a long time you might remember mum and i tried to plant peas they were doing great and then they were not doing great and the issue was the soil i just didn't know um, how well draining the soil had to be. This is particularly well draining because I know that we get boatloads of rain at this time of year. Uh, did I tell you guys I bought a lemon tree? This is my little lemon. I Mum was really encouraging me to buy a lime at the same time and I kept saying, no, 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 no. I want to get one of those trees that grows both lemons and limes on them. Um, and they're expensive, so it's been well out of my budget. And I was like, one day, one day I'll get them. Anyway, we went to a nursery. They had these 36 bucks, pretty good price. And there was a guy there that actually told me how to graft. Like he literally cut up some off cuts of plants and showed me how to do it. And um, I was like, okay, fine, I'm gonna give it a go. And I thought what I'll do is I'll get the lemon first and then down the track I'll get the lime or maybe I can find someone with a lime tree. What I should have done was purchase the lime and asked around about lime, um, lemon tree cuttings. But I just, I didn't think anyway, or I should have just bought the lemon and the lime and tried to graft them both and play around with it. 
I don't know. Anyway, whatever, I didn't. Maybe I'll ask Chris to get me a lime tree for my birthday or something like that. Um, I also bought a blueberry. This one was only 16 bucks. I did see some much bigger blueberries that were fruiting and huge and amazing at the markets, but they were like $150 and I wasn't going to spend that much. So I just bought a tiny little one. Well, mum actually bought it for me. Um, I was happy just to have a small one and enjoy watching it grow and do its thing. It It's flowering, so it could fruit. I just need to, I believe I need to fertilize them. Uh, down here, that's my basil. Looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> I think I'm going to have to try again with the basil. It just, whenever it rains, it just gets worse and worse. My chives, however, are doing pretty good. Um, I am seeing new... Oh God, come on, come on. Get, no, you're not getting in there. I've seen new growth happening with the chives, which is fantastic. I come out here and cut some the other day for a dish... Um, and I realized that I don't actually know how to trim chives so that they will continue to grow. <laughs> so I have to, I have to research that. I haven't done it yet. Also the little Cape gooseberry that I found at Bunnings, the one that was, what was it? A dollar and dying. Look at her. She's happy. She's really happy. She's getting big. Um, when I put her in she was you can see all of the like these leaves were all um but these leaves have all gotten bigger i think i think that's going to be just fine the other night we went to one of chris's friends houses for a little barbecue catch up some drinks and um one of the girls there her partner i got talking about plants because is anyone surprised anyway <laughs> Her partner um, said, I've got a dragon fruit tree that I want to get rid of. Um, if you come and pick it up, you can have it. So we went yesterday. They sent us a photo. And in the photo, I was like, oh, that's easy. That's less than a meter tall and, you know, maybe a little bit over a meter wide just because it hadn't been sort of trained all that well. Or well, when we got there, it was huge. Um, it probably was a bit over a meter tall, but... We couldn't handle it. And because these are, I think they're technically a cactus, not a succulent, but a cactus. You might be able to see like little spikes on it. Um, we were like, no, sorry, we can't do that. But they did let me take some cuttings. So I just took like three pieces. I took a small, a medium and a large piece. I'm going to try and grow them myself. So they're just sitting in there drying out for a few days and then I will pot them up and I'll see if I can grow myself a dragon fruit. Um, this one, if we'd managed to get the whole plant, it was mature enough to fruit uh, because these will be little cuttings. My assumption is that they certainly will not be um, and it might take a couple of years. I don't know. I don't really know anything about growing dragon fruit, but apparently it grows really well in Western Australia. So I'm going to have a go. Um, I have had some plant casualties as well since... Uh, since the allocation, let me just show you. This one hates life, absolutely hates life. I don't even know why. I gave it the smallest amount of water, just like I did with the rest of them, and it just went, I hate you. I hate you so much. This one dropped uh, a couple of leaves, but you can see it is actually, is that, no, I was gonna say, holy crap, is that a flower? Please don't flower. Um, this one is doing just fine. The peace lily is also wonderful. I found this Syngonium Fantasy for $10 at one of the weekend markets. I haven't repotted it. It's just in that peat um, mix. So I've got I've to gotta get on to that. In the guest bathroom, I have this, the Agraeus Skindapsis, which is really super cute and seems to enjoy it in here this is the oh what was it called i should have written it down it's the one with the long leaves it's the one with the long leaves i had it near the window and i'm pretty sure we had like one sunny day and every single leaf got 
burns on it and I didn't realize because obviously I don't come into my, the guest bathroom every single day. Anyway, the leaf has come off. The stem is like healthy. So there is a really good chance that it will still grow another leaf for me. I don't know if it will. I definitely need to, <laughs> I need to get back on my game with um, looking after plants because when I go back to Melbourne in December, I am gonna send back a lot of my cuttings. I'm gonna put them through the quarantine process um, and I need to be prepared for them when they arrive and I need to not fuck it up because I'm going to be spent sending all of my really expensive ones over. I will keep the mother plant at home in Melbourne. So if anything goes wrong, then I have a, a backup, but yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to screw it up. My plan is to send over the cuttings, um, root the plants here and, you know, just grow them and then uh, get mum to sell the ones that I have in Melbourne kitchen is starting to smell divine with the pea and ham soup going. Um, I want to get started on this banana bread. I love living with a man. He's like doing stuff with the broken sink and it's just... I can't really fix it. Though. No, he can't fix it, but it it's not a big problem. But also I can just be like, hey babe, this is a problem. And he's like, okay. And then it's not my problem anymore. Oh. And there's that rain again. I'm just gonna pop something on YouTube or maybe on the TV. Oh, that's right. We moved the big TV into the bedroom because um, there's the dog, she's, she's excited. We moved the big TV into the bedroom because I just knew Chris wanted it in there. So now we have the tiny TV out here, but I might put something on, um, make my banana bread and just enjoy the rest of my day. He's so smart. He fixed it. That's all it is, baby. There you go. Now you can do it next time. Yeah. If it's... <laughs> That's the lotions, that's, that's all it is. <laughs> it is tight. You have to do it. It's not the 1950s, baby. Baby, no just fucking let me enjoy having a boyfriend who is handy. Handy. soup is in the slow cooker. I have a load of washing to fold and a messy kitchen to clean up. So I'm actually going to leave that there. Um, I am going to try to aim to get back into vlogging again. I've actually really missed it. Um, vlogging for me is sort of an outlet to just do whatever I want, which is really not. And I mean, I guess my whole channel is an outlet to do whatever I want, but there's something different about vlogging. Um, it just feels maybe it feels a bit more personal, a bit more like I'm connecting with people. I don't know, but, um, I just, I miss it and it's been a really long time. So I guess while Chris is away, we shall try to do some vlogging. Maybe we will get this kitchen organized together. <laughs> Let's do that. That would be great. But I am going to leave it there, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I know this is probably a really boring one. But yeah, I will catch up with you guys again soon. Shout out to all of my channel members. Um, sometimes people ask, uh, how do I join? I can't find the button. Usually if you're on desktop, there's a button below the videos. And if there's no button there, there is a link in the description box. So I'm going to finish my lukewarm tea wait for my banana bread to cook on my mouth is like watering i'm going to finish watching pirates of the caribbean which i fell asleep halfway through last night 
I'm gonna fold some laundry, gonna clean up this kitchen, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.